other game of Agricola, this time playing Montu's mixtape, and did jump into that game uh, with PJ and Bisk. Uh, in this pack, we have Staple Architect, which is a card I, I'm not a fan of, but it's definitely important to remember. Um, I don't like how it warps the wood economy and basically forces everybody to build four stables just because of the way the points line up. Um, but, I mean, that's a conversation for another day. But, uh, like I said, definitely something to keep in mind, even though I'm not going to take it here. Uh, this is a pretty easy Master Huntsman. I think just a very strong card. Uh, lots of middling cards would be happy to wheel. Peat Cutter's fine. Carpenter's fine. Porter. I don't really like Porter that much, but it's not horrendous. And Dairy Cry and Fence Delivery Men are all fine. But... Master Hunt's been definitely the best card here, and I'm not going to pull up Stable Architect in the corner, but I will definitely try to remember it. Uh, easy Overachiever, for sure, with Master Huntsman. Cat Dealer is quite good. Um, can we see something that combos with cows? I do not remember. Hold it. Let me double check. Okay. No, no muted this time. Um... I don't think we saw something that combos with early cows. Uh, I am quite a big fan of Cattle Dealer, but this is definitely an easier overachiever. Sorry, I'm eating here, so I'm not really talking, but cards I'm hoping to open are obviously anything that makes majors come earlier or anything that comes with boars. Sorry, not majors come earlier, but majors come easier or, like, reward you for a bunch of majors. Something like Stone Curator, which we saw last game. Um, also, just anything that works with a big house, since we definitely want to be growing three times uh not necessarily a big house i think the best way to use our achiever is probably four rooms family grow without room once um well um i do quite like master builder i did mention going for a big house graduates an alternate path to get to get your family growth in I haven't been super impressed with the occupations in this game, though, and I'm not a huge fan of Graduate in general. Um, yeah, like, if we take Graduate here, what are we hoping to wheel out of this pack? Rice Farmer. Uh, like, all of these are so bad. I think I'm just going to take Master Builder. But yeah, uh, building five rooms in a stable architect game is kind of tricky because there's so much pressure on wood. And a lot of the time when you're building five rooms, you're building like two wood rooms and then a fifth room. But we're probably going to have to build one wood room and then two more clay ones. We could wheel Carpenter. Pete Cutter's also an okay wheel. Um... The problem is both of those cards means other people are probably going to try to build a bunch of rooms. Well, um, this is awkward. Because I think Treehouse Builder would have been kind of nice for Overachiever. But, I mean, I could take it just as a hedge. 
and play it instead of Master Builder. The other option is, of course, Cactus Lover, which in a Stable Architect game is pretty tempting, but it's not great with Overachiever. I think the fact that we saw Pea Cutter and Carpenter makes me less inclined to take Treehouse Builder. So, firstly, they might wheel, which makes it easier for me to build a lot of rooms. And secondly, if they don't wheel, um, then that means other people are building lots of rooms. And you, for the key to Treehouse Builder is you really need to be the only person that can family grow with room in rounds 12 and 13. Because if other key people can family grow in rounds 12 and 13, Treehouse Builder becomes so much worse. And I think that that might be the case in this game. We didn't see anything that provides veggies, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just going to take Cactus Lover here. It's very awkward with Overachiever, but it's still pretty nice. And obviously in a Stable Architect game, it, it becomes great. Because we already want to build four stables, so this is just like super businesswoman. I mean, this card does just, like, allow us to turn clay into pigs, basically. Uh, if we ever need to, we can, like, build a fireplace, then upgrade it. Uh, and then, like, we could even build the fireplace again and upgrade it again. Oh yeah, I definitely want Carpenter to wheel here. I think that would be the ideal wheel. I'd be happy with Stable Architect wheeling as well. Eh. P Cutter I'm less thrilled about. We could play Adoptive Parents here, because we definitely want to grow three times. But, um... It's pretty awkward with... What's it called? It's pretty awkward just having to play both adoptive parents and, and overachiever before family growing. I think I want fence delivery in here. There's going to be a good amount of wood pressure, and we should have plenty of food with Master Huntsman. But, yeah, I'm definitely not loving this draft. Pretty sad to not see Carpenter come back. I said, how are you doing today? <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to think. In the minors, obviously the ideal would be something like clay supports. Uh, mansion would be okay, although it would be pretty hard to get the resources for it. Um... This is all in my hand. Uh, yeah, I haven't made any picks yet. Oh yeah, I mean Guild Hall, sure. Uh, collar and Chain would just be something this good. Although, I don't really love miners that I want to play early with this hand. Well, that sounds like a fun time. Yeah, Gu Guild Hall is probably the ideal. Guild Hall, Clay Supports, Mansion. I mean, obviously, the now uh, Monty doesn't have Animal Farm in his collection, but yeah, Animal Farm would be the uber nuts. Um, having to play Master Huntsman, Fence Delivery, and Plowman early is a lot, but I don't want any of these, so I will take Plowman. Uh, even if I play it for two fields, it's not the worst. <laughs> Oh, wow, you had Master Huntsman as well. Yeah, that that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty set in not growing for a while with this hand, I think. Uh, I mean, I'm still... I, I'm not going to ignore building rooms, but I, I'm definitely going to prioritize uh, just setting up feeding with Master Huntsman and probably try to go for a double build, maybe. <laughs> But 
but yeah, this is this is kind of an awkward hand. There's just so much we want to do. Wouldn't be a surprise if Montu was the one that took Carpenter. He's pretty high on that card, I think, if I remember right. What else didn't come back from our opening hand? Pete Cutter did come back. Um, I guess maybe PJ also took it, hoping to wheel Pete Cutter. His Carpenter Pete Cutter is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I don't remember what else was in our opening pack. Cattle Dealer was in the Overachiever pack, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, this is all garbage. I have literally no interest in Lave the Worker, so I'll take Chairman just in case we get a combo like Sunday School or something. Uh, this is definitely not the game for Scrapyard Plow. This is an easy ceramics. Downsizing is kind of nice here. Wild game is okay. Like, downsizing is really nice in this game. Although it's not... Uh, does it work with fence delivery men? It might work with fence delivery men, actually. Oh yeah, it's a non bow with Master Builder, but I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we don't play Master Builder here. I, yeah, that, that is not a problem. Yeah, it does work with Fence Delivery Men. But I think Ceramics with um, with Cactus Lover and Overachiever is too good to pass on. Um, ceramics is just crazy with both of these. Because you just build the oven and then you can either Overachieve ceramics and then play pottery for free or you cactus lover ceramics and play pottery for free it's just way too strong to pass up especially with master huntsman we get a boar like i, I just uh it might wheel yeah these two or these three yeah i mean it could wheel but what what happens when it doesn't wheel because then somebody's gonna be buying an oven and the pottery Yeah, I mean, downsizing is really good here. No, I should take downsizing with fence delivery men, I think. Oh, no, 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 it's bad. Because I, I have to be in wood for this. So I would have to be in wood either on my... Um... No, the, the, the awkward part is that you have to be in wood for downsizing. So um, let's see... I'm not playing Matt Fence Delivery Men to like round four, so I would have to use it. I would have to have both of my grows out of the way by round, what, 11? No, round 10. Um, and, and still be in wood, and then I downsize. Yeah, I think the timing's too awkward for it. And again, it, it non bows with Master Builder, which I definitely don't have to build. Well,. Looks like I'm gonna be playing Master Builder. Oh man, Boarfield is great. Uh, Further Soil is great. Overgrown Pond is great. Muckrake is great in a stable, um, in a stable architect game because people are gonna be short on wood, so they're not gonna be fenced out, but they're gonna have four stables. Um, yeah, Muckrake's amazing. I would love to wheel Muckrake here. Um, fertile Soil is great, yeah, but I don't really have crop support anyways. So it, it's, I, I'm not taking Fertile Soil here. <laughs> like, I, I would take both Overgrown Pond and Muckrake over Fertile Soil, I'm pretty sure. But I, I think I have to take Cloyster. I'm a big proponent of just building the oven the hard way with ceramics and not even using it. Um, I think that's generally worth it. Uh, well, also, I think you take can take a grain sometimes first, um, like because that makes a grain of five food action. But uh, yeah, if Montu is in a baking strat, I could definitely end up pissing him off. Um, 
I mean, obviously anybody in a baking strat it could piss off if I build the clay oven out from under them, but Montu would get especially mad. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I still really need room support, which I don't think I'm getting at this point. Uh, there's no way I'm getting like a third pick clay support, I don't think. So I just need to be taking big resource piles every time I get them. I'm probably also not getting guild hall at this point. Uh, what miners do I even want now? Yeah, I don't know. Anything that gives me crops would be nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely a lot to ask, but it, it, it's pretty strong. It, it really depends on the game. I, I will certainly not force the, um, yeah, I, I'm certainly not gonna force, what's it called, build, building the rooms. Like I said, I'm probably going to build one wood room, and then I'm going to try to build two clay rooms, but uh, if people are taking clay aggressively, that just won't happen, and that's okay. It doesn't have to happen. Uh, but, like, there's graduate in the game. It didn't wheel, so somebody's going to be going for graduate for a growth, and, uh, which should make resource piles better. Graduate's going to make the timing on these ox really even more hard just because uh like plowman's probably not happening at this point fence deliveryman maybe i mean i think i have to play fence deliveryman it, it's just too important uh i think cut willows is pretty strong uh, I really like stone support here. I don't think this is a whale oil game. Not William. Sculpture Chorus is pretty good. Brew Feast is good. We don't have a game for it, though. It's definitely one of these two. Um... Yeah, I definitely want to play most of my ox early. Um, so I do like Cut Willows quite a bit, but one of the problems with Cut Willows is you want to play it early. Uh, it also doesn't work with Fence Deliveryman. Yeah, I think I'm taking Stone Support here. Uh, so what I was saying is you want to play it early, and I don't really want to be using a star player action early. For one, I'm fine playing Ox and taking Raidstone food and taking two Reed and taking three wood. Um, yeah, I don't have wood miners. Uh, I'm not going to be fencing multiple times. I don't have anything like stable delivery men. Or not even stable delivery men. And I, I just don't. Yeah, this isn't the game for it, I don't think. Yeah, wood miners is ideal. I mean, obviously it works with like well and joinery, um, but yeah, I I think stone support is pretty good. Stone support could let me do. Well, yeah, this isn't a good joinery game, but if we get to the point where I I need to be overachieving something, oh uh, well, this has got to be writing desk right. I guess textile guild. It's one of these two for sure. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, so I, I was just saying, if I'm saving a stone with overachiever, or I could even save two wood, uh, I could build joinery, and then it gives me a bore. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a good joinery game. I think I probably have to take textile guild here. Build a bunch of stables, take the sheep, and then cactus lover out a bunch of majors. Um, well, I want to build two stables, so I think Textile Guild can probably happen at some point. I'm also going to be trying to build the fireplace. And, like, Writing Desk is okay, but I want to be playing these early. Yeah, I don't think Writing Desk is amazing here. Yeah, 
if writing desk didn't have the occupation prereq, uh, you could do a funny thing with chairman where like you play chairman and an ock, and then if you wheel a two food ock, you, you play two more ocks. But um, yeah, I, I have to take textile guild here just because if somebody else takes it and starts building majors, it, it kind of wrecks my game. Funnily enough, I don't think open fields is unplayable here. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to wheel it, but if I could wheel it, I, I would consider just playing open fields and like muck rake and just not fencing just because of how this game is playing out. There's going to be so much wood pressure. Dab sizing didn't come back. That's no surprise. I mean, this is probably magnet, right? Uh, fish pond's also okay here. Yeah, I mean, fence delivery man is good. It's not like required that I play fence delivery man, though. Um, if I'm just using fence delivery minutes like seven fences, it's nothing special. Yeah, I mean, wild game is nice, but it's real. Oh, I guess one thing wild game does is it lets me wait until later, like until I have, um, until I cactus lover to build fireplace. I can go like cactus lover fireplace, uh, what's it called? Cooking hearth, because Master Husband gives you a boar. Um, do I like that better than Magnet? It's also just two food. I do like that quite a bit, but I think I like Magnet here. Yeah, again, kind of like Textile Guild. It just protects my own stuff. Muckrake came back. That's a snap pick. Snap, snap pick. Um... And then I assume cut will as well wheel. I don't remember what was in this pack. Uh, oh. Um, I have no interest in playing sculpture chorus. This, this is not work with stable architect, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, ox skull is definitely playable. I think Ox Skull is a bit underrated. Oh no, it's terrible with Muckrake. Um, this doesn't work with Stable Architect, right? You, you need four build stables. Uh, I mean, I'm not playing Sculpture Chorus. Yeah, this is the least Sculpture Chorus game I've ever seen. In general, I think this card is good. Like a lot of the time I think this card is worth just taking a grain to play, but we need our stone way too bad. Uh, yeah, Ox Skull, I mean, even with Muckrake, um, uh, Ox Skull is just food neutral. You, you don't get a point, but it, it, it gives you food. Or point neutral. Uh, Sculpture Core with Magnet, sure. I don't think I have the time for it, though. I, I wasn't planning on playing Magnet early. I guess the upside is higher than the upside on... Is the upside on it higher than the upside on Ox Skull? I don't know that it is. I really don't know that it is. Yeah, I think I just want to take Ox Skull here. Man, this sucks. Having a miner that I can't play... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Ox Skull for the food. Uh, having a miner that I can't play... Um, is really bad and yeah i i think like i think sculpture course here is, is interesting and i would maybe take it if i had a better source of grain but the fact that i have to take a grain just to play it and then i'm gonna have to take a grain later on in the game ox skull is for food i'm gonna have a hearth Yeah, I'm going to take Ox Skull. I, I hate that pick, though. We're going second. That's excellent. I will take Reedstone Food or Ock. Uh, which Ock do I want to play here? Montu just going straight for Stable Architect. I guess I don't want to play an Ock here. I will take Reedstone Food. I mean, taking Reedstone Food is awkward with... Um, wow, Montu didn't take Cactus Lover... Oh, Cactus Lover would have been seen before Stable Architect. Stable Architect was my pack, of course. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, Readstone food's not great when you want to build a bunch of stables. To read is generally better. But, like, I, I'm just... I, I am so off of taking to read over Readstone food. I hate it so much. It's a better action in general, and uh, it also protects the majors from other people building them. I am not thrilled with this start, though. Uh, well, not this start. I am thrilled to go second and get Readstone food. I'm just not thrilled with my hand. It has some powerful stuff, but it's extremely awkward. Um, yeah, I mean, like, we obviously want early growth between Overachiever, Cloister, Master Builder. Like, if we're going to plan on building a million rooms, we want early growth, but I'm not planning on growing first. Montu takes the clay, so he's going to go for first fireplace. Again, I, I'm not thrilled about it, but it's not the end of the world. Take, getting two wood towards stables is nice. Since I don't need the fireplace to make a sheep grab since I'm planning on building stables for textile guild. Um, so actually, I, I kind of like... Oh, okay. PJ going for whale oil. Sure. So PJ going to take one of the read actions into food, two food. The standard whale oil opening. Fisk probably takes grain sheep here. Was some farmer in my opening pack? I think it might have been. Which means he took it over decent cards, I wonder. Oh no, he plows, weird. Sheep flipping, not the best. It doesn't really matter to me. Actually, it, it does. It's good for Monto, which I don't love. But Fisk can swipe the sheep, so I actually, it doesn't really matter. Um, one problem with this hand is we really can't afford to take start player just for positioning. Because we want to grow a bunch. Um, I, I mean, I don't have to play overachiever here. It's kind of ludicrous to think of. But overachiever, the timing is awkward. Um, yeah, the, the, the timing on overachiever is awkward. I can just play improvements with cactus lover. Like, it's really good, but it's not the end all be all. Oh, Charky is, I mean, obviously Charcoal is, Charky is really good here, but with Master Huntsman, like with everything we're doing, Charky is going to be absurd this game. Um, this comes in 8 and 12. Yeah, I mean, the main reason for Overachiever would be to save the resources. Um... Like, I should have enough improvement actions this game. Uh, it's 8 and 12, right? Yeah. Um, it's not a big deal, but it is. It's not amazing. Yeah, I mean, downsizing was maybe pretty good here. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you should have taken downsizing. But again, passing ceramics is just so awkward because not only is it great, but it also means we're not buying pottery. And yeah, I, I just really like ceramics with Master Huntsman. And Cactus Lover. It was great with both of those. And Overachiever. Uh, I'm just going to take two more wood here. Again, I, I really can't afford to start player. Um, I guess this would have been where it's good to like... Oh, I could take a grain here for the oven. But that means the oven's threatened, so Fisk probably takes four clay and builds the oven. Yeah, that's bad. Um, uh, yeah, I hate taking two wood here. I'm going to take a grain. If Fisk snipes the oven, so be it.
He would have to build it without any grain, though. If I mean, if Major Minor flips, Montu will build the fireplace. And eh, maybe this is bad. Yeah, because Fist can go clay into... Yeah, this is, this is really awkward if Fisk goes for it. Because he'll go clay into grain sheep. Or... Well, hopefully he takes this sheep spot. But it... it then Montu builds the fireplace. He takes he builds the oven first action next round. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Montu's gonna build the fireplace here. Fisk should definitely take this sheep spot for sure. I'll be mad if he doesn't. Um Yeah, I mean I can start player. No, I'm just taking restone food. Taking three clay here is so whack. There's no way. No way. <laughs> Absolutely no way. I mean, I'm always building one of the ovens for ceramics, unless somebody builds pottery, obviously. But, like, um, I, I, I'll still build stone oven if I have to. So, like, this is still a four food action. Obviously, I don't want to do that, but whatever. Oh, my God. No, oh, this is still disabled. I guess my eyes just freaked out. Oh, PJ has the carpenter, yeah. But he didn't take the peak cutter. That seems weird to me, that he would take carpenter but not peak cutter on the wheel. Oh, Fisk not taking grain. Well, that's good for Montu, but it's also good for me. Oh, Fisk probably wants a hearth here. Yeah, I, I, I gotta take three clay here and build the fact uh, of in. Oh wait, no, I can't build the oven. I want to play Master Husband before I build an oven. What am I talking about? I don't have to. Yeah, that, that I probably can't. Yeah, Sun Farmer is such a weird card because you want fireplace, but you also want um, cooking implements. Montu just building up wood, sure. Oh man, I would love for Fisk to take the three sheep first action, but I don't think it'll happen. Montu does have to first action the sheep though because if he gets greedy and tries to wheel at second action, I'll be mad if Fisk doesn't take it. Like, if you play Sun Farmer and don't take it a single time in stage one, you're just doing something wrong. Yeah, I'm going to take the three clay here. I guess Fisk could... Um, Build the hearth here first action. Oh, PJ taking fishing. Interesting. Uh, I mean, I'm taking four wood or redstone food if either of them come. If neither of them come, I'm probably building clay oven. Or I just take three wood. Logic's probably going to take two reed and try to wheel the sheep, in which case I'm going to be very upset when Fisk inevitably doesn't take the sheep. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I mean, definitely. I, I, I'm past Master Husband on this. I, I'm definitely gonna wait on it. But, ah, Treehouse Builder. Okay. I mean, I would love to get four wood here. Want to? Uh, no, I don't think he can. It was in my opening pack. He literally cannot. There was like, there were a couple of cards that work with fencing early, like cattle dealer, but oh, he's playing an Auk. Barrel maker. I mean, that kind of makes sense. I still will be mad if um, this doesn't sweep these sheep. Obviously taking four wood. Oh my god, 
it. Montu had a two food rocket. Please, please. Well, it also gives me six wood if this takes the sheep. Oh my god, please. Yeah, this is so greedy. I think it's way more likely that to, the two food oc wheels than the sheep, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I mean, I gotta start playing to six wood if it's available, right? It's just, just building the clay oven here. This better be a hearth. I'm gonna be so mad if this is the clay oven. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's a bit annoying, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I just always have to start playing to six wood. Oh, I mean, it's unlikely, but it's even theoretically possible that I wield the three and get a double build, which would be unreal. There's no way Montu lets that happen. Montu will take the read. Um, yeah, the six wood lets us build three stables. Muckrick here, I think, is better than Magnet. I can play Magnet later. I, I'd like to keep all my stone for the purposes of overachiever flexibility. Um, oh, well, this is pretty good. Oh no, this is doesn't work out. I can't overachieve here. No, but it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna have zero stone. So why, why would it matter if stone comes out in round five? Yeah, um, so I can't overachieve here, unfortunately. No, but, oh, Clay, I'm in second action. I see what you mean, yes. Oh, PJ is taking the read. Yeah, I think you. I think you're correct, but it's not gonna end up mattering. Um, so room is completely unthreatened. Um, yeah, Fisk building a bad button. Uh, yeah, I, I clave in here. I'm pretty sure. I I can't really get jumped by anything. So I just want to get the clay oven out. And then we build and magnet. Um, yeah, I just have to clay oven here. Um, if somehow six clay is available, I probably go six clay into build and then overachiever grow. I think. No, that doesn't work because I, I want to be using Master Huntsman anyways. But yeah, I, I will six clay if it's available. Six clay is way too crazy for me. Probably, oh no, I, I, I should just build and grow. I don't know, I really want six clay. I'm, I'm a greedy boy. But this is a pretty strong start. This six wood was really incredible. Yeah, I'm a start player right now. But no, the fact that I would miss Master Huntsman on Ceramics as well makes it worse. I mean, it's still not the end of the world. Like, I could do it, but I don't think it's worth it. There's a good chance Montu just takes six clay here, I think. I don't know. Uh, 
yeah, Fisk's button is really bad. But, I mean, whatever. This will n is not the first time, and it will not be the last that I've seen somebody build a bad button. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I actually do go for the six clay line if it's available. Um, it's just really strong to go six. Yeah, like the six clay, into, assuming Monty doesn't take it. If Monty takes the clay here, then it, it's a moot point. But if six clay is available, six clay into build, into over. I, no, I probably don't get it over achieve. Hmm, that makes it worse. Oh, I need a lot of food. Could I even get there with Overachiever? Ceramics is two food, and Pottery is two food. So I would be able to get there. But if over, I, if I can't Overachiever, I have to like take four food or something, if that's even available. Fisk, no, Fisk doesn't need food, but yeah. And this is this is tough cookies. Okay, Monty start playing, so it's a moot point because I am gonna have to build first action, unless I want. Yeah, Monty's gonna read stone food. Um, yeah, I, I don't necessarily agree with this for Montu, but he's trying to. I mean, he doesn't even necessarily get a grow a build and grow next round, so I'm pretty off of this. I could still six clay. I could six clay and overachiever, but then I could get jumped. I should just build. Oh, I can build in magnet here and magnet to stone. Yeah, I like that a lot. My feeding is awkward, but I will get over it. I'll figure out a way. Um, I mean, so the the ideal thing would be if I go like six clay over achiever. Oh no, M Montu would be building this action and growing next round, so I don't get to grow next round. Yeah, this is super forced, absurdly forced. This taking six clay is interesting considering you can't build clay rooms with downsizing. Montu fencing. Uh, what? Uh, excuse me. Is this like cat lover? I don't. Wait, I don't get this at all. There's no way. There's no way he's actually fencing here, right? It screws up Barrel Maker. He's actually fencing. This seems insane to me. Um, so I need a traveling player this next round. It shouldn't be super contested. Montu obviously doesn't need it. Um, Fisk. Oh, I guess I don't need to. I don't know. Um, I will take stone. I, whatever. I'm, I'm, I could just take it and say I assume nobody else is taking it, but... It's no reason to do that. This is fine. Um, yeah, so like PJ could three wood and start player here if Fisk doesn't start player. Ock. Does he have knight? What? He has peak. What is this read for? Why did he take three read? I don't know what people are doing in this game. I don't get this fence. I don't get this peak cutter. I don't get any of it. Um, so Montu takes three sheep, which means Textile Guild isn't coming out for a while. Um, oh, Fisk. Oh, no, of course Fisk takes the sheep. Duh. What am I saying? 
Well, that's good. That means I sh could get uh, two sheep in round eight. BJ, start playing. Does he have like building materials? Writing desk? I. It is, oh, he's just start playing for six wood. Okay. But yeah, Fitz Fit can build here. Montu's getting jumped. Yeah, I don't understand the start player for Montu. Because this just happens where he gets jumped. Um, I don't think I'm that worried about this four food. Oh, writing desk fish oil. Very nice. Yeah, that was a crazy late writing desk to get to. But whatever. I'm Um. Oh, uh, I could. So I can four clay, master huntsman. Here and then, um. Yeah, I think I like four clay here. Cause worst case scenario, I can always go master huntsman into cactus lover, ceramics pottery fireplace or fireplace um hearth ceramics either of those work which obviously helps out onto immensely yeah this peak cut is really weird though It. Don't worry. Um, yeah, one good thing about taking Cloister is we denied it from this player. But it's definitely going to be insanely awkward for us to get to stone this game. Well, not stone. We don't need to go to stone. I'll probably just, uh, j just get to master builder this game. That's what I meant. Uh, I could. No, I, I I need to be able to breed the boars, I think. So ceramics. No, I can't breed the boar that way. Well, I can, but I can't eat the boar for the incoming fences. I could do fireplace, ceramics, stone support if I really wanted to, but that seems that seems bad. I'm, I'm not in a hurry for this stone support. I'm gonna be able to magnet stone later. Oh, Fisk is gonna play an awk here, isn't he? Yeah, I think I just have to take this for food. There's no way Fisk doesn't play an Auk, right? Um, I guess I don't want to give him cheap Auk because he his game is really good right now. Yeah, Montu has to start player here, which obviously sucks for Montu. Um. Can I expensive Auk? So I go fireplace, hearth, ceramics. I'm plus three, four, five food. Um, and I'd be down one, two, three. Oh, I can always breed board. Yeah, so I could. So I, I will do this now. Well, yeah, but I can eat one after they breed um, for the incoming fences, which is totally fine. So, yeah, I'll do this. I, I'm pretty sure PJ is playing an Auk here. Do I want to give him the... No, Ceramics doesn't give me a boar. I only get two. But, yeah, I, I can eat the incoming one. Uh, or I can eat the one that breeds. 
Yeah, I think I just want to cheap lock here. I'm almost positive PJ is playing Ox here. So I'll just make them pay the food. Yes, fireplace plus hearth gives me two. Um, yeah, I go to three and breed another. Uh, but I, I, so I, the food doesn't work if you count this two food as having to be had before harvest. But the fact that I, I can breed the boar and then eat it after the harvest when these fences come in, it works. But yeah, if you just think about it as I need eight food, it does not work. I, I don't see how PJ ever doesn't play ox here. It'd be ludicrous, right? He's plowing, okay. All right, now the question is, do I wanna go for it? Yeah, it's gotta be worth it, because I breed boar. I, I just think this was still right, because I think if I play this hawk, it becomes a lot more likely PJ plays an hawk. Whenever you play this, it, people get so tempted to block. Um. Pottery is unthreatened. No, not pottery. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm, I'm just saying uh, people definitely um, are very happy to block. Uh, I can actually take the two sheep first action next round. Will I do that? Probably. So we do this. Um, we're down two food for the auk. So ceramics auk possess the auk. I eat one boar. another food yeah textile plus magnet uh, is, is quite nice I think I definitely take two sheep here two sheep is a very strong action well I mean obviously with textile guild but also just in general um, three read I would like but three read I think comes back I mean who knows what Fisk's doing with rice farmer you might just take three read but um, Yeah, so I think we go two sheep and then ideally three reed and four clay. I can also start player stone support and maybe get six clay. Um, if four wood somehow came back, I'd take that, but I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, I mean, this is just the thing about stable architect is it makes it... Um, I forgot muckrake. I'm gonna move these fences. I want these two stables to stay unfenced. Oh, I also probably just wanna start player pottery because like Montu might take clay here. If anybody gets close to threatening pottery, I'm definitely gonna start player pottery. Oh yeah, so no, I talked about that. So three three reed and then start player pottery into six clay. Or maybe six wood. I mean, a man can dream, right? There goes the wood, obviously. Wood is highly, highly sought after. Yeah, there goes the clay. Pottery, still not threatened. Good. So I will take three read if it comes back, which I imagine it will. Montus. Okay, Montu just family drawing. Duh. 
Yeah, I think I want the three read here. At the very least, I'm gonna build one more room this game, even if I don't end up building two. Oh, I also have stone support. Yeah, if start player three, I'm always start playing pottery here. Um, I'm guessing three six wood won't be available, which is a bummer. PJ might start player here as well. PJ's feeding sucks. PJ needs food, yeah. PJ will probably play ox with their last action, either that or like take fishing. Fish oil riding desk is very nice. Taking grain, so getting sheep read, sure. So they're setting up to reno. If PJ plays Auk and Fisk renos, or even takes two stone for stone oven, I, I get six wood here. Um, the other option is I can stone support and magnet a stone, but I mean, I'm sort of hoping that Fisk takes two stone here for stone oven, and I think they might, so trying to magnet a stone is a bit ambitious. Also, I need the boar to eat for food. Yeah, so again, I'm just thinking about last turn. Theoretically, I could have more food here, but I'm pretty happy with the decision I made. Oh, cattle dealer. Well, that's interesting. I, I guess he's just playing ox because he wants to play ox. But yeah, he's going to build at least one room, probably two next round. He should build two, I think, given he took Pete cutter and um yeah so i just need fixed to not take wood here which he almost assuredly will but oh no he actually is renovating well in this case fisk's weird play is certainly paying off for me i mean i um i, I don't think this is necessarily bad for him oh bookshelf wow that must have been the same Wait, was writing desk in the stone support pack? I thought it was fourth. Because there's no way if you first pick bookshelf, you pass writing desk. There's no way. So it must have been in the stone support pack. Whatever. I mean, this is an obvious, obvious move. It's obvious. PJ builds here. Um... I mean, I might just re-up star player to be perfectly honest. What are my other options? I can plow. Read stone food isn't terrible. I mean, this is not seeming like a master builder game. I should, well, I no, I need to build another stable at some point anyways. Oh, actually, yeah, PJ probably builds a room in four stables here, if I had to guess. No, he is building two rooms. And keeping the reed. Mystifying. Oh, the reed's for cattle dealer. Duh. We figured it out. This board is quite bad. I pro Oh, well, it's still available. I'll just take the three stone. Three stones not available, I will take, okay, yelled. I will take three stone happily. Um, so I can take reed stone food. I mean, I could still go for master builder here. I have stone support to give me all the clay. So it's really only wood, only wood is the issue. And wood is certainly an issue, but these incoming fences makes it a lot better. And muck rake. So like, I could fence one, two, three, 
four, five. Wait, how do I do it? One, two, three, four, five. Is there no good way to do it that I can fence four incoming? I don't think there is actually. One, two. Yeah, it looks like there isn't any way to do it. One, two, yeah, there's no good way to do it. That's a bummer. Um, in that case, there's no need to fence aggressively. I, I just wait until these come in and build more fences later. It's also not the end of the world if I just end up with these as my fences and like plow a couple fields. I don't know, lots of options here. Oh, I need another food, don't I? I mean, if I build the well, it's fine, or if I take roots on food, it's fine. So it's definitely fine, but I do need another food. Imagine Matu takes reed stone food here. I guess if this is my last chance to get full food with well, which makes it better, and it also just protects the well because if somebody else buys it, it's really annoying. Oh, Matu needs to take two wood here, so there's not going to be four wood next round. It's quite annoying. Oh, there's also a Trias Builder coming in. Trias Builder means, yeah, I, I, best case scenario, best case scenario, I grow in 11 and somebody else start players made it to grow in 12, but that's not absurdly likely. Yeah, I think I probably just build the well here. Make sure it doesn't get jagged. Do I? This is actually really tough. I need so much wood before I could build two rooms in a stable. Because I always have to build a stable. One stable is four points, so I'm always building a stable here. I, I think I should just build the well. Yeah, I mean, I'm like never getting textile guild down before I build the well anyways, so I should just build it now. And I'm not building until round 11 anyways, so I can just take a redstone food next round or even in round 11. This is fine. Um, we eat the boar, we have to eat both boar, and we breed our sheep. Start player what? Stone support? Oh, textile guild. Um, I don't really want to re-up start player here. It doesn't really accomplish a lot. I don't think anybody's taking start player here. Um, like Fisk is going to sow or maybe play. Yeah. Oh, with soy milk producer, Fisk is definitely sowing. Um, and I mean, Montu might start player, but it's not the end of the world if I go second. I'm basically just major minoring out textile guild, which I don't care for. It just doesn't do enough. Um, I'm definitely not building first action. Uh, I There's a good chance I build at some point. I'm going to take three wood every time it's offered. I'm going to take three wood first action, and if three wood comes back, I'm taking three wood second action. Um, if three wood doesn't come back, I could go like three wood, two read, start player stone support, and magnet a stone. And then take four wood and build two rooms in a stable. Yeah, very crazy wood pressure. Again, I'd be fine if these are the only f fences I get. 
Um, with muckrake, having unfenced stables is fine. I can hold two breeding pairs, or I, I can hold three breeding pairs between these fences and this. Um, like, I'm pretty okay with the current situation. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with what's going on. My score is definitely pretty good compared to everybody else's. I have the best long-term feeding. PJ's game is quite good, but their feeding is not... They, they have no long-term feeding at all. I mean, they can fish oil again, and then playing ox becomes plus, like, three food. Um, but it, if they're on five peeps, they need a lot of food. Both hearths are gone, like... Their feeding is very sketchy. Um, on to... Oh, that's just Barrel Maker. What did he take? He took a grain. Interesting. Uh, like I said, I'm slamming three wood. Um... Yeah, so I'll take three wood if it comes back. If it doesn't, I will just... Uh, i probably take two reed, and then, yeah, I like to start player magnet quite a bit. Because there's a good... I don't think we're at the point... Yet. Like, there's a lot of wood pressure in the game. I don't think we're at the point where people are going to be taking two wood. So if I start player, I should be able to get four wood. Um, and then I can't play textile guild, but... It is pretty much all the wood I need for the rest of the game if I'm giving up on fencing more. PJ, fireplace. Yeah, see, th this is how bad PJ's feeding is. And Fisk should take three wood here, but who knows? Yeah, they're plowing. Okay. Like I said, I, I will take three wood if it comes back. I I'm not above just taking three wood over and over again. Okay, Montu just fencing. I've, I've said it a million times, but I, am I actually above taking three wood? Probably, yeah. Or, or not not above. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm actually above it. I, I think I just do it. This could very easily be like a zero field game. Because I really have no crops, so plowing isn't that, that many points. And there's a lot of pressure on plow. Nobody has fields yet. Very confused by this fencing. I was confused by Montu's first fencing, and I'm confused by this one as well. I mean, he wants these sheep, but there's no way Fisk lets him get these sheep. Fisk needs these sheep, I'm pretty sure. I mean, why else would Fisk first action fireplace? Is there actually that much wood pressure? Maybe there's not as much as I thought. I mean, I, I still would like to fence, so yeah, there is. Oh yeah, yeah, P, PJ is taking the sheep, sorry, not not Fisk. Uh, yeah, whatever, I will take th the... Yeah, I guess Fisk really needs wood, but nobody else does. PJ has downsizing and Montu's fenced out. Oh, Montu has Barrel Maker, so... Oh, duh, Stable Architect. Stable Architect is the wood pressure. I, I completely forgot it. Yes, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Because <laughs> it just totally slipped my mind. That's why there's all this food and wood pressure. Uh, and yeah, Montu wants it for Barrel Maker, but ma mainly for the stables. Because I think without the stables, Montu probably just gives up on Barrel Maker here. But... Um... Yeah, so here we take two reed. Um, oh wow, PJ fishing. That seems wrong. 
I, I'm still planning on building two rooms. I think it's worth it with Cloister, Master Builder. The only thing that makes it worse is Treehouse Builder. Um. Oh, okay, there goes two wood. Now maybe, maybe you're right. Um, yeah, the fifth room, no, the fifth, I don't see why the fifth room is six points. The fifth room would be, um, I mean, I can always build BMW or just use it for renos and cloisters. So I think I'd take the wood here. I mean, I could take clay for pottery, but I don't like that. No, so the fifth room is, it's two points, it's three points and it gives me a three point action. If I go to stone, it's four points and it gives me a four point action. But I, I think calling it eight points is not correct because I still have to use an action on Master Builder. No, you're probably right. I probably shouldn't build it, especially since I don't get the grow. All these stables are in terrible spots for Muck Rake, actually. This is really bad. Oh, it's it's not the end of the world. I'm building another stable. So I, I can like stable here and then fence all of this and leave this unfenced. No, all these stables suck. I, I was just always assuming I was building enough rooms, but yeah, these stables are bad, whatever. I still think, I don't know, I'll figure it out. GG taking clay, I do not care. Um, yeah, I mean, so the main thing that makes it worse is Treehouse Builder. Treehouse Builder makes the room a lot worse. But I think it's pretty likely Montu start players. Montu loves start playering. Um, and he pretty badly needs plows. Oh, actually, start playering is bad with scrapyard plow. But he else, oh no, it works on plow, so. Oh, then yeah, Montu's gonna be start playering pretty aggressively, so I'm kind of okay with um, it all. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. I can feed everything. Oh, Matu has champion breeder. That's what he's doing all of this for. Okay, that makes it make more sense somewhat. Cows didn't flip, which is bad for him, but as a Probably a five point champion breeder. Oh, Monty needs to start a player for two cows unless he is taking one cow twice. I, I, I still think I'd take three wood here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the two rooms. I'll go for it. You, you are probably right that it's bad, but I'll go for it, it's f fun. Yeah, is two reed and five wood worth four points and giving me another four point action? No, it's not that. It's three points giving me a three point action um, and it lets me turn a stone into two points. But I'm, I'm not convinced I'm getting to stone this game. There's a ton, nobody's renoed at all. PJ fencing, 
No surprise there. Yeah, the, the, the three raid was for Cal Dealer. Oh, wow. What a shock. Montu Star players. <laughs> who, who could have predicted such a turn of events? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Um, I think I want this stable here. There's so much plow pressure. I don't think I'm ever getting more than two fields, and I probably will get zero. I could also build it here if I wanted to actually go for zero fields. Like, for sure, for sure because then I can fence all of this. Um, yeah, no, I think that was correct, because this also means I could plow two fields and fence 12 if I want. It just is a lot of flexibility. Actually, this is kind of bad because I'm pretty sure Montu takes two cows over family growing, which means if family grow flips, then this room did nothing for us, except let us play a minor, I guess. Yeah, Fisk is at the stage where they're taking two wood. Um, Which is obviously not a good stage to be at. Okay, Montu's going for the two cows line, which makes this much better. We family grow stone support. And we eat a boar. Um, it's kind of free. No. The only time it would be free is if Montu, um, if Montu left the cows and forced himself to take two cows. Montu wants family grow and Fisk also wants family grow. They both really want family grow. Um, so unless I start player for it, I'm never getting family grow without room. Except maybe in 14. Oh yeah, Fisk, Fisk gets Treehouse Builder. Yes, you are correct. I'm, I'm dumb. I am just dumb. Yeah, no, I, I take back everything I said. I'm dumb. It, it's pretty free. Montu has priority on me, so it's not actually free. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, Montu... Like, Montu wants Plow so very bad with Scrapyard Plow. Um, no, he has Apiary. It's a Plow so it's an that good. He, he just wants plows in general. Um, yeah. Mon Family Growth Without Room is free for Montu, so Montu's game is looking quite good. Uh, I think Fisk still probably Family Growth Without Room. Oh no, Mon Montu will do it. I, I don't know. My brain's kind of melting. I, I'm talking all over the place, but I, I'm still fine with our game. Um, I do really need a three stone action. Three stone actions are pretty important for us because we need cloister. Does three stone, read stone food, read stone food get us there? Oh yeah, stone support is amazing. I would never do this if I didn't have stone support. I would never ever ever do this if I didn't have stone support. Well, I, I wouldn't say that, but stone support is a lot of the reason I'm doing this. Um, yeah, so I'm taking family grow first action. I'll try to take three stone second action. Oh, P 
PJ is PJ taking both two stones? There's no way, right? That would be the rudest like the actual rudest thing imaginable. It's not terrible for him because he needs stone, but I'd be really mad. This means there's no three stone next round, which is bad. Uh, this is making reed stone food a pretty high priority. I mean, it already was. We need two more. Um, that takes us to three stone. We need seven stone. It's going to be difficult to get to stone. All oh, business tutor. Interesting. That does not seem particularly good here. But all of these are pretty free for him to play, so whatever. Appleman is interesting. Notably, Appleman can build stables. It's mainly going to be used to plow, I imagine. But it can build stables. Um... Textile guild's still worth playing here, even if we don't build a major. Just a, a wood for a point is almost always worth it. There's, I, I mean, worst case scenario is neutral. Um, I need to figure out where these fences go. I think they go here, probably. Yeah, this seems like a no field game, to be honest. Plowso flipping. I guess it doesn't really matter to us. Um, did I eat? Oh, I announced eating. Oh, and I want to eat a boar. Eating boars is more efficient than eating sheep. Um, we family grow textile guild. There's a good chance we get two cows. Oh no, Montu's taking one cow again. What am I talking about? If Montu doesn't take the cow aggressively, I could take it here and make his life really hard. It means he has to like first action cow next round, which I kind of like. so bad at keeping track of Magnet. Oh, there's also a good amount of pressure on Reno. Uh, I'll probably take a clay pile for pottery. Maybe not. Nobody needs clay at all. There's literally nothing for anybody to do with clay. Does nobody read the chat? Um, I probably will plow here. Actually, I can magnet another stone with Cloyster. Magneting another stone doesn't do a ton. Oh my god. This isn't that hard. I mean, this is a little bit my fault, but it shouldn't be that hard to undo. If you just start playing, that's fine. I don't care. Yeah, so if Monty doesn't take the cow here, I will, just to make his life hard. Because, like, he's going to want to f 
Fist probably family grows without room and then family grows with room next round, I would imagine. Um, yeah, now... God. Like, again, this is somewhat my fault, but it, it's not that complicated to just... I don't know. Whatever. I, I didn't want a fence, but... Okay, finally. Should not have been that hard. Montu plowing. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna take a cow here and make his life hard. Especially if he's plowing, because that was like my other add to points, was to plow. PJ takes veggie, that's as good as plowing. think he should have but um whatever he's taking clay so i get six clay next round almost certainly i'm gonna take reedstone food and try to reno cloister here pj might just take two stone anyways but i don't know this is like i don't know exactly what he wants to do he, he could try to build Joinery or BMW or stone oven. Yeah, I'm renoing cloister here, and then I magnet this stone in first action, three stone if it comes. Because then one read stone food gets me to reno. Which I should be able to do. I can start player ox goat if I have to. Oh, this is incorrect. showing the guess because that calls attention to the fact that magnet will trigger but whatever oh actually I could have textile or I could have BMW'd there 
Um, this is wrong. I could have BMW'd there um, because of textile yield, and that would have given me a bore. Maybe I should have done that. Well, it's seeming like I'm not getting to stone. I can still read stone food in BMW. But yeah, it's definitely seeming like I'm not getting to stone. Uh, it would take multiple actions. Oh, okay, PJ's gonna build the BMW. Yeah, I definitely should have built the BMW there. That was just a mistake. Um, I could maybe build joinery or a stone oven, but that's gonna be bad. Yeah, the, this this was bad. That was a pretty big mistake, honestly. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad. Oh. Um, I think this goes family grow, family grow. Montreux always taking a cow here. Do I plow? How many plow actions are left in the game? Montu will plow out from under me for sure. Because plowing is three points for Montu, so yeah, there's no way I'm getting a plow. I should just take wood and fence. Um, yeah, I mean, there's still ways I could get to... Um, there's still ways I could get to stone, but it's going to be a very difficult. i probably just build joinery, honestly. What are scores looking like? Because PJ's game is pretty good. 32, I'm at 28. I have a bunch of points on Cloyster. PJ has no bonus points. I'm gonna get a fence, but PJ has two Renos. Yeah. I mean, what is still pretty. Can, oh, and never mind. Fisk plowed. I, I don't even have the option of plowing. Um, yeah, I don't really want an animal grab, so I just take four wood. Four clay is completely uncontested. I could take a... Yeah. I think one of these animal grabs probably wheels, honestly, so I'm just going to take the big wood pile. The other option is take restone food for joinery. Uh, looks like PJ is just going to run out BMW. Um... Joinery. That's what it appears to be happening. Which means there isn't actually that much pressure on Reno. So, like, even though it takes me a million actions, I might still do it. It definitely would have been better if I just built the BMW on that renovation and then I could play Cloyster. That that would have been much, 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 much cleaner for points. Um, but, oh well. I do kind of need a food action here. Oh, I can build Stone Oven. Maybe I do that. Oh no, Montu's gonna reno Stone Oven. Yeah, Montu reno Stone Oven for sure. Fisk, Renos, Joinery, BMW. He could even Joinery, BMW, Fence if he Reno Fences. But I, I want to be the one that Reno Fences. Hmm. I don't know. Montu, Family Grows. Yeah, that came back. I think Fisk probably should have Family Grown, Family Grown. But I understand not wanting to with Treehouse Builder. Yeah, this isn't great for me. Um, so three wood gives me all the wood I need to fence out. So I should probably just take it. I don't really want. I 
I, yeah, I think the animals wheel again, to be totally honest. Montu will take a veggie last action and sow it with apiary. I mean, if Montu Reno's here, I can just build the BMW. Yeah, like if Montu Reno's stone up, I, I'm almost positive Montu's gonna take vegetable here. This just takes food. Why would he take the boars? That's less points. Or it's less food. Unless he doesn't need food at all and just wants the points, but that's, that doesn't seem likely. Oh, fisk fishing with the eel pond or eel farm. That's nice. This is a very strange game. I think if we can force Fisk to Reno, our fence should be safe. I don't think, I mean, Reno fencing is one point for Montu, so he might do it, but he, he really wants the stone oven. Yeah, so I think we got like reedstone food, sheep, um, veggie, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing this game. In round 12, oh, I don't need a reed stone food if I go two stone, two stone. Yeah, I, I don't want a reed stone food. So yeah, I go sheep, veggie or grain, master builder, I think. And then we go two stone, two stone next round. Yeah, two stone, two stone, reno fence, clay. Um, and then whichever crop we didn't take would be the ideal sequence. game has been a bit annoying in terms of time hasn't been that bad on average but there's been I guess it's just been a couple of moments it, it was the the magnet thing and then the this moment um my game is still looking fine I have 28 this is gonna be five points this is three points so we're plus 10 so we're 38 right now he's at 33 plus zero he has a million points coming um, like this next action is gonna be one two it's gonna be eight points he has an eight point action but um, Fencing for us is one, two, three, four. Fencing for us is six points. If we reno, the reno is gonna be six points. Uh, how's our feeding? Our feeding is awkward. I think we always get this three sheep though. I don't see why Montu would take it. Veggie and reno stone oven are both way better for Montu. Specifically veggie. Um. Okay, Fiskeel Farms. Oh, BMW also would have given us a boar. Yeah, I think that was probably a better path to points. 
Montu takes the veggie, no surprise there. Yeah, I like sheep. Um, just eat. Oh, I actually don't have to eat any right now. I'm gonna eat all of them, but I don't have to. Um, no, so PJ's renoing joinery BMW. PJ's not renoing twice. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Because what else is this business tutor doing? He has one, two, three, four, five. He has one miner in hand. Interesting. It looks like Montu might have been the player with graduate. Either that or he just hated completion from the graduate. PJ start playing. Is PJ Reno fencing? That'd be really annoying. Um, we don't know what his last talk does. I, I haven't been paying attention. It, he first picked business tutor, I think, so I should know it. I should be able to guess what it is, but I haven't seen it. Is PJ just gonna not Reno here to screw me over? I think regardless, I play master builder here. Oh, Apple Man, Apple Man lets you spend veggies to plow, build stables, or build fences. Um, yeah, I'll just play Master Builder here. So I, I could read stun through food to threaten BMW, but I mean, fit, PJ will just like first action Rhino Fence if I do that, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh yeah, PJ could go for Stable Architect. I, I doubt it, but it's possible. Okay, good, he's renoing, and I have to imagine this is gonna be joinery BMW here, which is very good for us. Oh uh, yeah, so we go two stone, two stone, reno fence, clay, veggie. Obviously. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, the business tutor and a Renault not align. It's kind of sad. I, I guess he's not playing improvements. Well, um, so do we get BMW next round? Do we want to. F I, I don't want to get blocked on fencing, so I should just take. This seems. Very, I, I, I'm not sure I agree with this. This seems kind of crazy. Um, and, uh, but I mean, we're not getting a reno now, so now I definitely have to um, fence eight because Montu could screw me over if he decided to fence. Like I would like to read stone food and build BMW next round. How else am I getting points? So clay. Grain, veggie. I can build stone oven. I, I don't think I want to risk. No, Montu's building stone oven. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, redstone food is really tempting. I should just fence. I shouldn't mess around. Um, yeah, I, I, I really shouldn't. Um, maybe I need to. Maybe my game here is a bit sketchy. Whatever, I'll just do this. Um, I 
I should eat four clan sheep. I think readstone food might have actually been right there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's our feeding set actually. Um, if we do get a build joinery, it's we can eat the reed for a point. But yeah, I mean, major miner might not get taken here. Fisk can miner. Um, yeah, so Fisk can. What's it called? Fisk can family grow with room. Montu's Reno stone ovening and has one miner left in hand. Fisk obviously doesn't have a miner. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, well, he's assuming he's wheeling Rhino Fence, which he is. I, I don't know what you, you're talking about. Rhino isn't threatened for PJ. Um, I also do not get it, but whatever. It, it doesn't seem that terrible. Um... Yeah, I, I don't, that I don't know. One possible reason would be... Okay, yeah, Montu out of miners. Yeah, so I think we get major miner. Yeah, so it definitely hurts me. It costs me a good number of points. So that's definitely... Uh, that, that alone makes it not terrible, considering we're definitely the ones competing. I'm pretty sure. I, I, yeah, it's definitely me and PJ competing. It also, yeah, I don't know. Do I don't know? Uh, oh, so the I do. That's what I was thinking of. The other thing is, um, if uh, if he has an awk. If he wants to play his last dock, then he, he basically gets the action back anyways. Um, I I think I still am fine. I'm plus two points here. This is a five point. So I'm plus 10, so I'm at 45, and this is plus two points. He has no bonus points. The fish pond is minus one point. Um, this Reno is... Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I wasn't even counting Stable Architect, so you just... Put, add that into his and also mine so even if he gets it um, and it's a lot of work for him to get it like it's a ton of work for him to get it it means he doesn't even get to build two fences he only builds one fence so it's like a ton of actions his feeding isn't amazing yeah he, he's minus one point I'm pretty sure I'm still winning Yes, no, I, I'm aware he doesn't have to use the stable action, but he it's still this action and this act. It, it's two actions um, and uh, minus a point. So unless his last stock is really good. Um, we obviously BMW here. And then we just take crops and clay. Somebody might block our clay, but uh, I mean, Montu will take a veggie. No, Montu will family grow. What's just one stone? I, I don't know what you mean. I, I don't save a stone from anything, and I'm saving a root. I'm saving a reed, not a stone. Textile Guild saves any resource. I'm saving a reed, not a stone. Okay, I, I 
it freaked me out for a second. I thought that this maybe was forced to save stone or something. Oh, Fisk fenced. Well, very glad I fenced last round. Um, yeah, this I forgot that this forms a natural border for pastures. That's nice. Um, funnily enough, one food fishing is contested. It's not, because Fisk is growing last action. Um, so two read is a point, but... I should just be able to take crop, crop, clay. Um, PJ might hate my clay, but he definitely has passed the points, and I'm pretty sure I'm winning anyways, so I should be able to get it. I think veggie is definitely most contested. Grain isn't very contested. Montu probably takes veggie here. If I had to guess. Unless he wants six food, I don't know. Six food might actually be more points. No, he doesn't need food at all. I, I haven't been paying much attention to his score, Montu's score, but I'm pretty sure he's out of it, yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. He doesn't get a breed at any point. He's just taking, oh, he's family growing first. Um, Grain's still a point for him, so he's not going to block clay, I don't think. Um, So PJ is plus 5, plus 4, and he's minus 1. So right now he's at 48, and he still has to feed. Um, I mean, I'm already at 48, aren't I? Yeah, I, I'm plus 2, and then plus 10. And I have three more actions, one of which is three points. Unless he, he, he needs multiple points from his Auk. I mean, otherwise, I'm pretty sure I'm winning by multiple points. Forgot to take my food. Um, yeah, I'll take a vegetable. Uh, wait, Fisk has point actions left, right? One, two, three. He's got to have... Wait, when did Dairy Cryer get played? think I could hold them. Uh, one, two, four. Yeah, I, I could hold them. I don't know when that got played. I totally missed that. Um, yeah. Oh, f fishing is a point for Fisk. Um, so yeah, Fisk never takes clay. Nobody's ever taking clay here. Everybody has points on the board. Two. Uh, fishing is two points for PJ. So I imagine it's their action here. No, they're taking two, three points away from me. That's rude. I mean, maybe I should have. Do they really think they're competing with me? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, my feeding is set. So, take a cow and take a reed are both points for me. Yeah, so this. Yeah, so even if Montu takes grain here, not Montu building stables, sure. I don't, I never, I didn't see him get, oh, he, did he get it from charcoal burner? Oh yeah, he built stone oven, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if he thinks he's blocking Fisk here, but he's not. Um, yeah, we take grain. I, I don't think Fisk is beating me here. There's no way. Or PJ, I keep getting them confused. 
Yeah, he's plus he's plus four. He's plus nine, 49, minus one, so he's 48. Uh, and he, I think he has to eat points somewhere. So yeah, he, he needs this, this Auk needs to be amazing. Yeah, I've been counting rank this entire time. That, that's why I say I'm plus like 11, because I get two points for this, five for Cloyster, and then one, two, three, four, five. So I'm plus 12 points. So right now I'm at, what, 52, 54. And then I have one more point coming and a point here. Um, so I'm gonna end on 56. I don't think PJ ever beats 56. Oh, 59, yeah. Okay, yeah, chimney sweep, whoop de doo Yeah, so PJ cost me two points, but ended up, um, I mean, that is five food, which is good, but it's definitely not gonna be enough. Um, we need a read and I can hold all of these animals. Got to get all the muckrake points. Oh God, what did I do? Um, yeah, we're 46 plus 1359. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was just taking wood every chance I got. And PJ and Montu didn't really need the wood. It was just Fisk. And I realized before Fisk did that three wood was important. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I did get like four wood here. But at that point, Fisk just had way better actions offered to him. He, he had like Plausto and stuff offered. It was just like the round thirteen that I they I got it, and Fisk fenced in. Fisk also I think just wanted to get out of fence queue, so they fenced in twelve, which obviously opened it up for me. But like Fisk was plowing and stuff, so if Fisk uh, was taking wood instead, I probably could have gotten two plows in. Yeah, PJ's 53. Yeah, because I don't didn't see them put food on it. Uh, and I think I got PJ and Fisk confused there again. It looks like Fisk is one, two. Did Fisk announce their score? 39, all right. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty clean win. I could have had 61 if PJ didn't blog me, but whatever, I'm not gonna win, I don't really care. Uh, yeah, that was a really interesting game. Um, I'm pretty happy with my decision to build the rooms there. Uh, like not building the rooms didn't really wouldn't have really accomplished much. Uh, I could have like what plowed instead, which I mean would have been okay. But I, I I'm pretty happy with the decision to just build the room. Uh, yeah, it, it it's close. It I could have maybe scored higher if I just plowed some fields. Uh, actually, one thing is the way I set up my farm with like these awkward stables and stuff uh, is plowing would have actually been really bad because like with muckrake, I really wanted unfenced stables. So like I, I had no good way to fence. So like the fact that I was able to fence just the right way anyways um, made the uh, also made the rooms much better. If I had built my stables better, obviously. Um, yeah, so like I said before, I was just always assuming that 
I was going to build rooms like this, in which case building these two stables here and keeping them unfenced isn't terrible. Uh, it's still not great then. Um, so one thing is like, if I was positive, I was always going to muckrake three. Uh, if I was always positive, I was gonna muckrake all three. I should have built stable here, here, and here. Um, what's it called? Ox, ox skull. Ox skull makes that a little bit more complicated because I might not be keeping an unfenced stable for the cow. Um, but yeah, I, I still think I probably should have just built the stables here, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. Regardless, we, we ended up getting there uh, with a pretty wacky farm. And yeah, that, that was an interesting game, just the way it played out. Uh, 39, I think. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Stable Architect, it definitely messes with wood economies, but everybody's farms looking okay. Like, I'm just surprised nobody else went for stables early. Like, with Stable Architect, you, you should just know that you're going to want to be building four stables. So, like, with Stable Architect, I think you just build the four stables as aggressively as you can. Um, like, PJ didn't really have the opportunity to. So for PJ to build four stables, he would have had to only build four rooms, which I think probably isn't right. I think with Apple Man, it, it's okay to do what he did. Um, but yeah, I mean, with Stable Architect in the game, it becomes like, so seven points for eight wood, I think is a better rate than fencing. At best, it's the same rate. Um, so like, yeah, I, I think... Yeah, so if you just fence eight, that's four. Um, is four points, five, six. It's six points to fence eight. Yeah, so it, with stable architect, you should always have four stables. I'm pretty sure. There's obviously animal capacity thing. Oh yeah, champion breeder makes it more awkward for mod two. Um, yeah, you you can't really breed. Um, breed all with four stables but i mean you can still just like build four stables and fence seven uh and then you are more barrel maker is really what makes it awkward for montu uh yeah i mean other than the fact that he had a four wood ox and four wood ox are generally good with barrel maker montu's setup was pretty bad for um stable architect but yeah i, I think champion breeder isn't bad with stable architect you you just because you can get a you can take a breeding pair of sheep and then you can like take two boar, you can hold both the boar and the sheep, and then you just fence before the harvest, and you can breed them, and then you can hold three breeding pairs by like building four stables and fencing seven. But yeah, like I said, so I mentioned this at the beginning of the draft, and I mentioned it again now. Stable architect messes with the wood economy because it makes it so that stables are just the most point efficient thing to do to build for. Like I said, it's eight points for or seven points for eight wood, which is just a better rate than fencing. So it just makes everybody build stables automatically, which really screws up the wood economy. Which, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it definitely worked to my advantage this game. Uh, I, I Defense Deliveryman was very clutch. My game would have been a disaster without Fence Deliveryman. Um, so very happy about that card. Very happy I took it and very happy I played it when I did. Um, but yeah, that is it. Oh, I didn't report this, but whatever. People know. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, I think I'm probably done t for tonight. It's not impossible that I'll play another one much later, but who knows? Uh, uh, other than that, I don't know when I'm going to be able to stream again. Because I'm working for pretty much all of the next week. So if I am able to stream more, it will be fitting in games aside from work. But thank you all for watching. This was another fun game. I've been having really good luck with the games I've streamed recently. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.